Hello, my name is Dr. Cameron Popal and today I'm going to perform the wrist examination on Dr. Southerf. Uh, in this examination, I would be uh, showing you what a patient can present with and then be telling you what we do in management and what our diagnosis might be. Okay, so I'm going to perform the examination now. Hello. Hello. My name is Cameron. I'm one of the junior doctors in this department. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, is it all right if I call you Sadaf? Yes. Okay. So Sadaf, today I'm going to perform an examination on your wrist. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you tell me a bit which wrist is paining? Uh, this one here. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. Um, so during the process of this examination, I'll be looking at your wrist and be coming close to you and touching your wrist as well. If you feel any discomfort or pain, please let me know and I'll stop right there. Okay. okay? Can you please first of all show me your wrists like that? All right. Uh, thank you very much. Just relax them on your on your uh, self. That's fine. So there's no discharge, redness, swelling, scar marks, sinuses, any bony deformity or muscle wasting on either of the wrists. Can you please turn your hands around? Okay, thank you very much. There's no discharge, redness, swelling, scar marks, sinuses, any bony deformity, muscle wasting anywhere on the dorsal aspect of the wrist. Thank you very much. Can you please turn your hands back around? I now be touching you very gently, okay? In an ideal situation, I would ask the patient to expose themselves up to the elbow or the shoulder. So the front and the back, there's no localized rise in temperature. I would now be uh, pressing you gently on uh, the wrist and let me know if you have any pain. Ideally, I would like to start from the unaffected side, but due to time constraints, I would ask you to relax your unaffected side and I'll only examine the affected side. All right, please let me know if you feel any pain, all right? Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Is that painful oh, as well? Yes. Is that all painful? Yes. Yeah. All around? Yeah. Okay. So my patient is tender around the lower thumb and the anatomical snuff box area. Okay, thank you very much. I would now be asking you to do a couple of movements for me, if that's all right. So can you please turn your hands like this and move them towards the sides? Okay. Thank you very much. We can appreciate that the radial deviation in the right wrist is limited as compared to the left one. Can you please move your hands inwards like this? Thank you very much. I can appreciate that the, me, uh, the ulnar deviation is normal in both hands of my patient. Thank you very much for that. Can you please move your hands like that? Your wrist. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you please move your hands like this? Okay, thank you very much. I can appreciate that the flexion and the extension is both limited in the right wrist of my patient. You can relax now, thank you very much. I'd now be doing a couple of special tests on you. All right, can you please make a thumbs up sign for me like this and press on your hand, uh, on your thumb like this with the other hand, press on it. If you have any pain, let me know. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. So my, the axial loading test is positive in my patient. Can you please uh, make a finger like this? Uh, put your hand on top of it and press on it. And if you have any pain, please let me know and stop there, okay? Can you press on it? Oh. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, so the finger uh, test is also, uh, the uh, pointing test is also positive in my patient. So both uh, axial loading and pointing test is positive. Uh, I'd now be having a quick feel of your pulse. I can appreciate that the pulse is normal and the vascular bundle is intact. Uh, I'm going to be testing the nerves in your hands. All right. So starting off with, can you please make a perfect ring sign like this for me? All right. So I'm going to 
try to break it, don't let me break it, all right? Okay, so the medial nerve is intact in my patient. You please give me a thumbs up sign, okay? Try to keep the thumbs up, don't let me bring them down, all right? I'll be pressing down on them, all right? Okay, uh, so I can appreciate that the radial nerve is compromised in the right side of my patient. Okay, that's all right. Uh, the last thing that I'll ask you to do is to hold my fingers, like that, yes, and don't let it go, all right? Okay, thank you very much. So the ulnar nerve is intact in my patient. All right, thank you very much for your time, Dr. Sadaf, and uh, I'd now like to talk to my audience. So you saw that I did two special tests in this examination. One of them was the axial loading test, in which I asked the patient to make a thumbs up and press down on it and she had pain on it which is a positive and then there was a pointing test in which uh, we used the index finger and asked the patient to press down on it and that was also positive. So both tests uh, were positive for scaphoid bone fracture. So in this case my idea, ideally my plan would be first of all pain relief, rest, refer through orthopedics, get an x-ray off the wrist um, and put a scaphoid fracture cast and look how it goes and obviously take opinion from the orthopedics team and likely refer, them, uh, refer her to them. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned from it. Thank you very much.